hi guys welcome back and uh, today we will take a look at another uh, mode of the pwm which is the waveform mode and uh, in this mode we only have uh, three channels available the fourth channel is not available and in this mode we can generate different types of pwm waves and uh, with the help of these complex waves we can achieve different goals so it depends on the use cases so let's create a simple example and then see how to code it so open the pc and uh, go into the c directory go into the nrf sdk go into the examples and uh, go in the projects and uh, from the projects we are going to copy this common and paste it here and let's rename it open the folder and go into the PC of 10040 because we are using an RF52832. If you are using an RF52840, just open the PCA10056. So open this blank folder, go into the SES folder, open the EM project file, and uh, here we have this code. I'm just going to modify it from the start. So let's see how we can modify it for the wave generation. So for the wave generation, we are not going to use these values for the top and uh, let the external LED, LED remain here and uh, let's create some sequence of values make sure you watch the previous tutorials to get to know how the PWM works and this is the fourth mode of the PWM in this mode we generate different types of waves let's name it as sequence 0 and let's assign it some values okay we have assigned some values and then let's change it to and we need to remove this and we are using LED1 and the external LED and the other two pins are not used uh, by the way we only have uh, three channels available for this so we, we cannot use the fourth channel and uh, the loading mode is waveform and the top value is going to be zero in this case and uh, no interrupt handler we don't need that for now and everything is good to go with this one let's see what we can change in the sequence play we have to change this values dot and here We are using this sequence zero values. Also change it from here as well. And we are good to go. This sequence is this one, so everything is good to go. Let's change this to Okay, everything is set and it's good to go. The code is uh, finished for the waveform and uh, in this we are just generating simple waves so we are just passing these values when the compare registers uh, get up to these values they generate this wave and we can use uh, these sequence values to create different types of uh, shapes of the waves so it's uh, finished now okay let's build the code and once the code is built just to make sure your device is connected click on the connect and then erase all and then download once it's downloaded you can see the LED has a very dim light and it's uh, because of the specific wave and if I connect an external LED you can see it's a little dim because it's uh, showing this wave and uh, we can change uh, the waveform and we can generate uh, different sequences it It's mostly used for making some complex LED sequences. Hope so you have learned something new today. 
if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe it and uh, hit the like button if you like this video the code along with the details is available for download in the description of this video make sure you download it play with it and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next video